Hey, what is going on, guys? It's Big Up to the Seven from Dual Prospectors coming at you with another video. And I know it's been a couple days, but a lot has happened in the gaming world, which I kind of want to address a little bit before I get into like another gaming video or something. And by the way, I did get a new mic, so if I do sound a little different or was like a little bit of an echo or something, I'm still ordering more stuff off Amazon, so it's pretty big for me. I kind of like this mic. It's a blue, like snowball little mic. It's awesome. I think it's awesome. So, um, recently. A couple days ago, and all this other stuff that's happening, I'm pulling it up right now. They, um, the Battlefront 2, EA, their stocks, their stock value went down $3.1 billion. That is huge. Absolutely huge. I'm gonna post the links down below. I even might add the video that they posted here with it, too. And CNBC covered it. They wrote an article about it. I hope this video doesn't play. And literally it says, EA's Day of Reckoning is here after Star Wars game uproar. Three billion in stock value wiped out. I love it. I absolutely love it. Like, the, like they knew it was coming. Like, and they had to anticipate this. This, like, this is what was going to happen. And it's not like they lost. I mean, I guess they did lose three billion. But, um, the thing that happened is their stock went down, but other stocks were going up. So it's like, shareholders are super, super pissed about this. Because it's like, oh shit. Like, now we, like the competitors, have a higher stock than you. And so, overall, the competitors are having 10 times, not even 10 times, but much more money here. I'll read it word for word. EA stock is down 8.5% month to date through Tuesday. Compared with the S&P 500's 2% game, wiping out $3.1 billion of shareholder value value its competitors take two and activision blizzard shares are up five percent and 0.7 percent respectively during the same time period after ea gave a december quarter sales forecast slightly be below wall street estimates on october 31st some analysts suspected it was due to the star wars title the shares fell four percent the following day that is awesome i mean not for them but that's awesome for gamers like me and anyone who's just a casual gamer about anything like this is really really big this is huge for us and like it's really a step forward for gaming it's like all right you want to like fuck us over all right fine that's fine we'll fuck you over like that's it, it really just comes down to that and also in other news there is um this is from forbes from battlefront to destiny why is everyone so mad about video games and destiny just got caught throttling xp games like like what like how can you do this like like don't they learn and i always and i kind of figured like while playing destiny that they would lower like the xp game gradually like once you hit level 20 it's kind of like oh the more i play it's like the less xp i get and i kind of started to notice that i was like i'm doing a lot over here like i like i i've done the raid like a fair amount of times and i'm like hmm i'm not really getting as much as i feel like i should be or as much as it says and like, people, like, took action to this, and they even, all over Reddit, they were showing um, statistics, examples, and like, all this other stuff, and I'm like, damn, like, people are really getting into this, and and it shows how games, like, video games aren't what they used to be, and it's really, really sad, and, like, I started playing, um, I just picked up Fable 3 again, like, I started playing, I mean, I'm not a big fan of Fable 3, I'm a huge fan of Fable, the original Fable, loved it, have so many hours, and right now I'm playing Fable 3, and it's like, I'm playing with one of my friends, and there's, like, no microtransactions, like, yeah, they have DLC, but that's DLC, it's not like a microtransaction to, like, better the game, and I'm like, it's a pretty complete game, and I started playing Fable 2, because it was all on sale, I'm like, this is a complete game, like, they literally just handed us, like, they, they this is a finished product. Like, when I get games now, like Call of Duty or something, and there's a day one patch, it's like, like what's going on? I'm paying $60 for an unfinished game that you're just going to finish later on? Like, no. Like, we have to stand up and, like, literally fight these big industries, because it's really wrong. Like, we pay a lot of money for video games. I know I do. I Like, whenever a sale happens, like, I just bought Assassin's Creed Origins, and, like, from the previous videos, like, yeah, the game is great, but why? Like, we, we I don't want freaking microtransactions just so I look like freaking Ghost Rider or some freaking Deathbringer with my flaming horse. I don't like, I wish I could just buy that gradually or become that in the game. Like without having to buy all the microtransactions and like the Helix, whatever it is. 
Like, I feel like that's really, it just takes away from how much fun the game could actually be. And I got into an argument um, the other day with someone saying how they play Star Wars Battlefront, the new one, and they do not care about microtransactions. They're saying, like, it's it's ridiculous how, um, like, people think it's gambling and how they're trying to remove it and all this stuff. And I guess, like, he wasn't understanding that this is a big deal because future games are going to be doing this. It's not, it's, it's this is whole system becoming a pay-to-win system. Like, Destiny is becoming a pay-to-win system. Like, by, with the bright engrams, by making you, like, it literally stops your XP game. It makes you, it's, it's forcing you to buy silver. To buy bright engrams. Even though the bright engrams only offer cosmetic, like, cosmetic items and maybe some bright dust or, like, anything like a vehicle or something like that. Like, it doesn't really change the game. But still, it's the fact that you are halting my progress. I am busting my ass. And you're halting my progress just because you want some more money. That's ridiculous. To me, that's absolutely insane. And I feel like people should really be coming together and understanding this is an actual problem instead of fighting it. And, like, you have the whales who are just like, yeah, just keep feeding the money. Like, it doesn't matter. And it's even shown that Star Wars Battlefront 2 is a pay-to-win game. Literally, like, I watched a video of a battle droid, a normal battle droid. No, it was just a normal droid. He had a shield up. He was hitting. He literally did not die. He could not die. I was in shock. I saw it on Reddit. I was like, oh, damn. All right, this is cool. I was so annoyed. I was like, this is absurd. He was like, yeah, proving everyone that star cards are freaking pay to win. And literally, he's just punching people. He kills enemies faster than a hero character. Heroes, I noticed, they take about like two hits with a lightsaber to kill someone. I, I was like, alright, I was like watching some gameplays. It's like, yeah, two hits with a lightsaber, which is absurd to me. Two hits with a fucking lightsaber? Bro, you should chop someone in half. Those things could literally chop buildings in half. Like, Star Wars Force Unleashed, the fucking dude, like, literally cut sh ships in half. And I'm like, alright, word. And now over here with the Stormtrooper, like, he, he takes two hits. But this dude over here, he has a bubble shield. He might as well just be a Spartan. Spartan Joy, he's just like, Roger, Roger. And just punches someone in the face and they go flying. Like, this is absurd. And it, it just, it's absolute madness now. Games aren't what they used to be. And I feel like it's just going down the gutter. I really think that people should start coming together and really hammering this down. Really, you gotta start boycotting this type of stuff. I want release game. I want finished games. I don't want none of this, oh, I'm gonna pay $60 for a game, and don't worry, day one patch, the game's gonna be like 100 something gigabytes, like a quarter of an Xbox, don't worry. It's gonna be great, but it's not. It's not gonna be great. It's not. It just can't be. When you implement things like this, it just can't be great. I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong, I would love to play the game. The game looks so much fun. If the game didn't have microtransactions, and don't give me that temporary, like, bullshit. Yeah, temporary my ass. They're just gonna bring it back right after the movie comes out, obviously. But, it's like, if the game didn't have microtransactions, I'd buy it. The game looks like so much fun. But also, it's very limiting. Like, literally, give me Star Wars Battlefront 2, the original, on the Xbox. I still play the game. <laughs> on my PC, I still play the game. Because it's a good game. And I just, they didn't mess it up. All we had to do, excuse me, was just build off that. Put new graphics on. And then people argue like, oh, but that's just one crowd. Like, no, it's not just one crowd. So many people love that game, and it's still such a big multiplayer community. And I, I feel like that's, like, what's missing out right now in game. Like, we need one big game, single player or something. I mean, like The Witcher. The Witcher? Like, everyone just bats an eye when it comes to The Witcher. The Witcher has no microtransactions. That game is fantastic. The game is phenomenal. And people are like, oh, it's a single player RPG. Yeah, it's a hard ass fucking game. And get over it. Like, that is what they should be doing. Though, that studio busts their ass to make a fucking game. And the game came out great. I would rather a publisher to take 10, like, as long as they need to finish a game instead of rushing it and then fixing it along the- just take as long as you need, release the game, and I want it to be a good game. Just release it, no microtransactions, you have enough money, literally you have enough money, just make the game. You know, I don't understand like how much more money you need, how much more- you can't just suck my wallet dry, alright? Like, EA it's in the game? No, it's in your wallet, alright? Literally just feeding off that. 
And th that's really all I have to say for this video, guys. Really hope everyone enjoys the new mic. And um, get ready for another video. Um, I might do... Um, I picked up a, a few other games, like... Just like little games, all like Stardew Valley and whatnot, like the Gungeon, like just like little things like that. Super fun game. They're super fun. Um, so I might be like making like little like montages of that stuff, or I might be doing some like fun stuff on the internet and just slapping it together and just like talking about it because I've seen some pretty crazy shit on the internet for some odd reason, like on Reddit. Reddit's just madhouse, and then 4chan is just scary. So I mean, I don't fuck with 4chan, but um, hope everyone enjoyed. Please like, subscribe. And do you guys do best? Stay frosty. And if you guys really, really want to leave me some feedback, it really does help me out. And every single time, like, someone left me feedback about getting a better mic. Do you know what I did the next day? I bought a mic. So please, I'm, I'm literally just trying to just get myself out there. And I really, really want to be the best that I can be. So just feedback really helps me out. So I hope everyone has a great day. And stay frosty.